DraftGaming is now live. Streaming MLB The Show 23, MLB The Show 23 Padres Franchise Mode. And welcome in everybody, glad you're with us. Saturday Baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Atlanta Braves. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And today's starter, Mike Soroka. Yeah, got the W last time out. Six innings, a quality start. Hey, if a guy will give you that, you'll take it every single time. Ready to go. And here comes Xander Bogarts. San Diego, the shortstop. Xander Bogarts. The pitch. That misses the zone, and we're underway. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Harris makes the grab one away. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, the challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B.I.D. Ball in dirt. Outside. Jake Cronenworth in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Two nope. balls, no That's strikes the count. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And fouled off. Two two now. Swing and a pop up. And there's two down. That is her. The left one, number 22. And now it's Juan Soto. Two for eight in the series so far. That's hard hit on the line. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And that's a double. Everything came together for him. That, Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. man. That is smoking. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Here's Manny Machado now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Down the line towards the corner. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Padres leave one, and now the Braves with their first chance to hit. We're scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. And on the hill, Seth Lugo. Just a four-inning start his last time out. He took the loss. They're looking for more out of this guy today. Here's a speed threat. Michael Harris. For the Braves. The and a pitch. There's a strike.
Here comes the 0-1. Liner, base hit. That is second. The designated hitter. And now the DH, Vaughn Grissom. Move to first. And yeah, he's oh, back he's safely. And the first yep, pitch misses for ball one. Righty to the plate. Rudder takes off. That's it for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. The pitch. And another ball. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. That's Next pitch is downstairs. There's the strike. Harris leads off second with nobody out. And there's ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walked out of that thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Here's Austin Riley. Going one. Going one. No outs, runners at first and second. Check swing, and that's a ball. Really good check swing right there. So difficult to hold off on the slider from a same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release point. The pitch. Good that's eye right through. there. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Ground ball to first, could be two. Cronenworth over to second. How about that double play? For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. pitch and now one, one and two, two one and two now on Acuna just misses with that one it's a good take Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Braves strand one, scoreless after one. And welcome back. Now it's Matt Carpenter. The designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. And he deals. 
fouled back our way, and that's out of play. Oh, one down. Ground ball right side. One up, one down. That is good. The right fielder, number 32, Nelson. Nelson Cruz, the next up for the Padres. Three for eight in the series coming in. And that's in there for strike one. Well, a good first pitch change up there. In order to be effective, you've got to really sell it. Good arm speed, and it's got to be down in the zone. Strike two. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. And takes low for ball one. Second inning here, no score. Foul ball still a one and two count. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And here it comes. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2 2 on the way. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. And he can't come up with it. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. He just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. The batter now is Adam Engel. Check swing, but he went too far. 0 and 1. And that one is inside ball one. In the air, right field. And it drops in. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Austin Nola at the plate now. That's ball one. Hitless in four at bats yesterday. Runners at first and second with one gone. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're high level but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. In there for strike one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep into counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Cruz, the lead runner at second. Angle on at first with two down. Hack 
walks and misses. It's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Bottom half of inning number two. Now in for the Braves. Matt Olson. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Lugo back to work. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Off the mark there. It's a ball and two strikes. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. And now two and two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Angle under it. And there's one away. Got it. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Two for six so far in the series. That one's in there on one. Right hander kicks deals. Yeah, that's outside. Two Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just a great slider right there, and I think the key no, 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 for no. pitchers no, and no, what no. hitters don't want to no, see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Travis Dardo in now, takes ball one off the plate. Next pitch misses outside. And the count is 2 and 0. In the air, foul off first. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. And the Braves go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. New inning getting started. Here's Xander Bogarts. The short Singing, you know, Xander Bogarts is actually a twin. His twin brother, Jair, signed with the Red Sox initially and played a little bit in the Boston organization. That's pretty cool. That's in there. That's strike one. When former Red Sox scout Mike Lord visited Aruba for a tryout in the summer of 2009, 16 year old Xander Bogarts was in bed with chicken pox and a fever and mom said you got to stay in bed but she agreed to lift the order for one day thanks to some persuading from Xander's uncle and after an impressive tryout he and his twin brother Jair signed with the Red Sox.
The one two. Out there to center. Harris after it. One away. And what's interesting is Xander wanted to be a teacher when he was growing up, and obviously that did not happen. But what's cool is that his elementary school was renamed after him. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Up the middle, Albies. That takes oh. care of Cronenworth. The left field, number 22. One. Now the youngster Juan Soto doubled his first time up. Soto getting to start in left, 24 years old, and he's a former home run derby That's champ. The in the first pitch, misses for ball one. Top of the third, no score. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Next offering is downstairs. Manny Machado to bat next. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Manny Machado up to the plate. 0 for 1 so far. Arcia. That ends the frame. One left for San Diego, still no score. Bottom of the inning, and now it's the switch inning second baseman, Ozzy Albies. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. And it's fouled away. Albies, multi-time All-Star, in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he's a native of Curacao. The 0-1. And a swing and a miss there. That's One down ball. and in. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Orlando Arcia. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. that one down the line and that's just foul going to now one ball I don't like to say he wasted a pitch I think that was a purpose pitch change the eye level have him look up now go back exactly where you want to go Next offering is down low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. K-1. 
kicks and deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hammer, base hit. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Michael Harris. One for one, he let off the bottom of the first with a single. Harris measures six feet even, 195 pounds, and he was a third round pick back in 2019. And there's a foul ball. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Here's your one. Oh. Good eye right there. I got a ball, one strike. And that one ripped to left. Soto brings it in. Out number two. Up next for Atlanta, the designated hitter. And next for Atlanta, Vaughn Grissom. He reached out a walk his first time. That hits the dirt, and it's one to know. That one missed. Two oh. Two ball, one strike. And there's the strike. Two ball, two strike. Three two now. Three two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Austin Riley, the kind of bat that can make a big impact if they can keep it going here. Payoff pitch. Hard ground ball, base knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now that one, the third base. Hit. Austin Riley getting ready to hit. He's over one. And the first offering is not close. Arcia over at second. Grissom at first, two out of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Carl, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Nothing but curveball so far in the at-bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if they'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. And a pitch. That's bolted. First and second, two down. Next pitch is downstairs. That's a really good take. Ronald Acuna Jr. in the on-deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. And a pitch. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So two down, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. 
Here's a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. He swings and fouls one off. Got him swinging. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. The right hander back to work. And a foul ball. You know, these Padres just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A big blow to the home fans. His fourth home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat. And... A really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Nelson Cruz, the next up for the Padres. First pitch, and he just misses. The 1-0. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. The wind to kick the 2 0. Foul ball. That's off the mark there. Three balls and a strike. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Ground ball, left side. The wind to kick the pitch. Up the middle, all bees. Sends it to first, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Adam. Engel. Here's the center fielder, Adam Engel. And he's already singled in this game. First offering misses the mark. Bounced up the middle. Albies over to first in time. That takes care of Angle. Now back at the captain. Austin Nola. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Austin Nola. He's 0 for 1. And the pitch is in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The 0 2. To the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that'll do it. But the Padres draw first blood here on the solo shot. And the home team down a run. Back after this on the show. Back then you'd hit me up and it make me nervous.
nervous. Young girl, big dreams, thinking I was foolish. I'm not proud of weaker than my rep. Back here in Atlanta, here is Matt Olson. And the pitch. Ball one there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Nick Martinez up and loosening in the pen. The 1 0. And there's a ball. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. The wind and the pitch. And yeah, that's three. a little bit high. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. There's a strike, three and one. Yeah, the right hander deals. Hammered. And this one could be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Slider misses outside. Olsen at second with nobody out. Swing and a miss. And one and one. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. At the belt and fires. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. He'll circle the bases and they lead it. It's 2 1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run for He squared it up and knew it was gone. And now it's Travis Darno with the plate. Popped out and foul ground first time through. And that's in there for strike one. You know, these Braves showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Gonna count one, one and two. Two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball the off the outside Double corner of the plate. Got him to chase it. That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. Pitch. 
Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. And the righty deals. The punch out there. That's out number two. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. Arcia. First well, offering, and it just misses. And a foul ball. The one one. And foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. And he's got a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already now the leadoff spot for the Braves Michael Harris one for two First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that's a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next offering upstairs. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. The 1-2. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Arcia headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Seth Lugo won't go any further tonight, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Nick Martinez on a pitch now out of the pen here. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Runner at first with two away. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Vaughn Grissom. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Way high. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And a pitch. 
That's in there. And the count's even at two. And down on strikes he goes. Good job at damage control right there. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We played four. It's the Braves three and the Padres one. Back at Truist Park. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. And the leadoff man aboard. The bat, number two. Short -term. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Swing and a ball popped up. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. The first base is number one. Yeah. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. That one lifted to left. Ozuna should have it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now back at left field. One. Soto. Juan Soto now. In there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Soroka throw over. Kim dives back in safely. The pitch. That one out to right. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. You'll take those blue hits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. First and third, two away. And now it's Manny Machado. And that one fouled off. The 0-1. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The run scores from third, and now they trail by one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. He's already homered here in this one. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. The 0 1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Just missed the inside corner, and it's 1 and 2. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Righty delivers. Strike three. Got him swinging. And the Padres waste a chance. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves three and the Padres two. Back 
here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Down the third baseman, Austin Riley. And here it comes. And that's outside. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. A handful have turned into outs, but of the balls they put in play, 10 have been line drives. I say keep barreling the ball and good things will happen. Don't let that get you frustrated. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Next pitch three in the ball, dirt. And that's ball three. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr., who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that can steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? That's out to center field. Angle makes the play. One down. Now, Matt. Here's Matt Olson. And it's 0-1. Riley, the base runner at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Right-handed reliever. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. One missing low. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high oh, fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Misses well, off the well. play. One and two to count. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Next well, offering two. misses, and the count is even two and two. And that one in the air center field. Angle drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. One left for Atlanta, but they're up three to two. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Soroka back to work. Ball one, no strikes. And that's in for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Ground ball, Olsen. Steps on first for the out. Now back the center field. Adam Engel. 
Stepping in for San Diego, Adam Engel. And that's in there for strike one. Engel, 31 years old, and he's usually in right field, but today he's patrolling center. The pitch. Bunting, and it's in the air. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Two away. Well, he gave the butt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit, and when guys rush, can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Slice the other way. That's a base hit, and that's going to kick into the corner. Around first, heading for two. To second, pulls him off the bag. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Now it's going to be Ha Sung Kim. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Dylan Lee, the left handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. McHugh getting cranked up as well. One one now. Just missed. Runner at second, two down. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Man at second. In the air, right side of the infield. All these sizes this one up, tracks it down for the out. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Braves three and the Padres two. And welcome back. John Shabby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Travis Dardo. Pitch. And yeah, that's too high. Kicks and fires. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. And a foul ball. Next offering upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Now a screamer into the outfield. Soto settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. The second base. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. Singy, this guy, Ozzy Albies, he is Mr. Personality. So much flair and that giant smile on the field. That one misses. One and oh. 